Oh, well, that was, I, you know, <laughs> I cannot. I can't even put my face on video anymore. Every time I do it, they, the video cuts off. They're, they know I'm not looking. Um, so I just wanted to follow up a little bit on... Um, oh boy. I'm tired now and um, I just did a half hour that, that didn't get recorded for some reason. So, anyway, I'm just going to open up to something and see what we got. The first message was about... Um, boy, I'm brain dead now. Uh, what happened? Word of Truth with J.D. Nyjah. Let me see if I can get this together. The first message. God, it feels like I had a stroke or something. Crazy. Some kind of dimensional shift. I don't know. Anyhow, um, word of truth with JD Nyjah. The first message that I did was on this falling away, this this apostasy, and um, maybe that was enough for today. Um. Cracked my head wide open, I guess, that first one. All right, well, I'm just going to open this. I'm not going to go surf. And I'm not ready to read the paper. So, um, let's see. <laughs> Preparing to cross the Jordan. Let's see if I can get get something out of this this is Joshua chapter 3 this might just be a short one because um, I feel like my head caved in and um, maybe the Lord's telling me that's enough JD Nige I don't know um, Heavenly Father give me some strength to get something out of this message for the children of Israel and the believers. Amen. Um, preparing to cross the Jordan. And, jo and Joshua rose early in the morning, chapter 3 of Joshua 2. And they removed from Shittim and came to Jordan and he and the children of Israel and lodged there before they passed over. And it came to pass after three days that the officers went through the host and they commanded the people, saying, When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God, and the priests of the Levites bearing it, then you shall remove from your place and go after it. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, about two thousand cubits by measure. Come not near unto it, that ye may not, that ye may know the way by which you must go, for you have not passed this way before. And Joshua said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves. For tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. All right, so this is a this is pointing to what we're going through right now. We're getting ready to to pass into the into the kingdom. We're passing over the River Jordan. We're going to go into the kingdom, and he's saying, "Be careful because." If you get too close to this ark, if you get too close, 
you're going to get burned. And maybe that's the lesson for me right now. He's saying, J.D. Nyjah, you need to slow down because you're pushing the envelope here. Sit back. Relax. Enjoy the world a little bit. It's not time yet to move this hard. That's the only thing I can get out of that right now for myself is that he's saying, watch yourself, sanctify yourself. You need to rethink this, rewash, um, get your garments on, consecrate, because um, it is really weird. I tried to do another message and it, it, uh, I kind of am failing. So, um, so I'm going to just shut this down because that's what he's telling me to do. So I'm just going to read the rest of, um, the rest of this real quick and then I'm going to shut it down. Take from it what you will. And Joshua spoke unto the priests. Joshua 3, 6. And Joshua spoke unto the priests, saying, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and pass over before the people. And they took up the Ark of the Covenant and went before the people. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day will I begin to magnify thee in the sight of all of Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so will I be with you. And thou shalt command... The priests that bear the Ark of the Covenant, saying, When you are come to the brink of the water of Jordan, you shall stand still in Jordan. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, Come hither and hear the words of the Lord your God, and said, Hereby you shall know that the living God is among you, and that he will without fail drive out from before you the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Hivites, the Parasites, the Girgashites, the Amorites, and the Jebusites. Behold, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth shall pass over before you into Jordan. Um, now therefore take you twelve men out of the tribes of Israel, out of every tribe of a man, and it shall come to pass. As soon as the soles of the feet of the priests that bear the Ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth shall rest in the waters of Jordan, that the waters of Jordan shall be cut off from the waters that come down from above, and they shall stand upon a heap. And it came to pass when the people removed from their tents to pass over Jordan and the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant before the people as they that have bared the Ark were come upon the Jordan at the feet of the priests that bear the Ark were dipped in the brim of the waters for the Jordan overfloweth all its banks at the time of the harvest. And that's what's happening now where are the rivers that rivers that flow out of us like overflowing waters that's what's happening so I guess what the Lord's saying is um, don't get ahead of yourself J.D. Nyjah that the waters which came down from above stood and rose up upon a heap very far from the city Adam that is beside Zaratan and those that came down towards the sea of the plain even the salt sea failed and were cut off, and the people passed over right against Jericho, the city of Palms. And the priests that bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord stood on firm dry ground in the midst of the Jordan, and all of Israel passed over on dry ground until all the people were passed clean over Jordan. So, um, we talk a lot about Moses. I'm just going to throw this out there, and then I'm going to move on. We're going to shut it down. Um, we talk a lot about Moses bringing the people out of Egypt and see that was, that was the people separating from, from the world. Basically Egypt represents the world and slavery of this, this wicked kingdom. And so when, when Moses failed to bring them into the Holy Land, um, the portion was given to Joshua, just like the portion was given to Elisha after Elijah, and just like the portion was given to Yahushai after 
John the Baptist, this the second portion is always the better covenant. So what this is saying, and, and this is simple, this is simple Bible structure. This is the type of stuff that GMS just doesn't understand. Is that this simple Bible structure, this um, Moses parting the Red Sea, and then Joshua um, parting the Jordan through the priests and the Levites, the the first fruits, and then the um, Elijah being um, of the first fruits, passing it on to Elisha in the double portion, is the same theme as. John the Baptist coming before Yahushai, and that's where GMS fucking sticks their finger up their ass and twiddles each other, is they don't realize that you got to have that Holy Spirit. This is a progression of Moses to Joshua, um, Elisha, Elijah to Elisha, John the Baptist to Yahushai, David to Solomon. It it repeats itself. Over and over again, it's the same story. It's the same theme that these monkey brains just don't understand. And so what we're seeing now is the rise of the men of the Lord, the first fruits are coming forth, trying to tell people it's time to cross over. But can you believe it? Can you... Now it's given to the most unbelievable of all is is JD Nija actually going to help you cross over into the kingdom? Can you believe that? Is that part of your belief system? Or are you going to follow um, men that don't even know how to put together this story? The story is complicated only because the Lord is only going to give it to certain men and certain men are going to rise up in the last days and they're going to tell the story correctly they're going to they're going to say it they're going to rebuke others they're going to be hated and they're going to be killed just like they were before just like Amos just like Jeremiah just like Isaiah they're going to be Put upon because people are going to hate them because they're trying to tell you something that you don't understand, but you just have to go with it. Listen to the prophets, the true prophets. So when we cross over the Jordan with the Ark of the Covenant, we touch the water, the water overflows. Where is it overflowing? It's flowing out of our bellies. Because it's the time of harvest. J.D. Nigel was born on Harvest Avenue. These are your clues. I'm telling you the clues. Get off the glue. Get, get under the clue. This is your brother, J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. If you enjoyed the message, if you understand... Subscribe, listen, get edified, get saved. Get in the boat, get in the boat. I'm out.